Porn Stars Review Podcast. I'm Dan Figalette, your host. I'm here with Nina K. Finally, right? <laughs> Thank you for doing this. Yeah, what do you mean? I feel like I feel like we're I like three kept, conferences deep. I know, because <laughs> I just listen. It's really hard for me to commit to like certain things. Yeah. Because every time you hit me up, it's been like during like really yeah. hectic like events. That's what I do. I come on to the hectic events and I go, no, 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 take time. <laughs> yeah, and it's just, and I'm like, uh, I have like 80 bazillion things yeah, going on, yeah. but I really wanted to do it. No, I get it. I appreciate you doing this. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what's going on? So we're, uh, you said these, this was a place that you didn't know. You said you thought you stayed here before. Yeah. I this is, we're at some, we're at some Hyatt in, in the middle of like nowhere. It's kind of I like it's kind of Jersey. It's kind of like a. It's it's almost a town. In the middle of nowhere. Like it's kind of cute. There's nothing here compared to the rest of like compared to where like the event, the convention center is. This is all right. Yeah, this isn't bad. This isn't bad. It's like, only like five minutes away, but it's yeah, cool. Yeah. I so, can deal with this. Uh, but yeah, there's not like I don't know what they did when they built this this state, but it's very like there's like whole chunks where it hey, just like smells like roads, me- methane. But have you seen the roads? Are you saying they're good or bad? Horrible. Okay, so you can't take left turn. Yeah, this is the thing. So you have to. Yeah, yeah for people it's, that don't want to see. What's it called? It's called a. Uh, Michael, one of the my me- uh, th- uh, site members, was telling me he lives out in Jersey. And the thing where you can't take the left turn, you got to go to the you right. You have to go right it's to take like a left. A ju- I don't know what you call it. Diana, what's that thing called in the road? We'll figure. But yeah, no, I didn't know. Um, yeah, so I didn't. Yeah, I didn't know it had a name. But yeah, it's it's not. It's a thing. It's because it looks like the the handle of a jug is what he said. Okay. And it's called like a jug handle something really Jersey ish. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I've, I so I live in I live in Hoboken, which is not like technically it's 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 Jersey, but it's not part of the thing. It's like I this little you were town. In LA. No, no, no. I'm I'm a New Yorker. I'm a fucking New Yorker. I don't see that either. At all. <laughs> oh, really? Not at all. Oh, nobody's ever called me LA before. This is this You're is an exciting moment. You're a total LA person. <laughs> this is an exciting moment for me. Yeah. No, I was. I would be. I, I grew up in upstate New York, and people would be like, "You're not. Where are you from? You're not from here." Uh, so then, when I got to New York, people would have just uh, pretended like I'm from there the whole time. Nice. Um, but no, yeah, it's it's it's. I don't know what. It, and then it's like a fiasco, and then there's like where I went to eat yesterday it just smelled like uh, cows. It smelled like methane gas. Oh shit! It smelled like 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 uh, um because they have they have uh they have all these uh what do they call them? They have the factories. Landfills. Yeah. Oh, yeah. landfills. They, but they have all the factories. It's very right. like factory. Right. Yeah. They were the like basically it was so like bad. New York City was like okay we're commerce whatever and they were like we yeah. got we got to put this stuff somewhere. Right. Like so they Jersey just shoved it in New Jersey. It. Yeah. Jersey's a weird. You know, there's like those weird states. I feel like Jersey's really weird. Jersey yeah. sounds more like a city than a state. Yeah. First of all, yeah. Like you think when you think of Jersey, you think of a city. Well, because the problem with Jersey that you have, and we're gonna upset so many Jersey people, but it's like there's it has to assimilate the identity of different places. So it's like so you have so you have the the New York City part of Jersey. Which is right? what part? We That's have the... we got Bayonne, Jersey City, Hoboken, like Weehawken, and all, New Brunswick, all that stuff. This we're in New Brunswick right now. Uh, not New Brunswick, sorry, New Bergen. Right, yeah, sorry. I was gonna say, we're, in, uh, we're south. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then and then you have and then you have Edison, which is like where the convention center is. I'm just not really sure what the identity is I don't there. Know, yeah. And then you got all the stuff that's down by Philly. Which is another I hour just from found here. Out we're an hour from Philly. I yeah, know, I have no idea. So we're right about. there, and then all that is like Cherry Hill, and and like uh, um, I can't remember the other name of the town my buddy was from. And then you got the whole the shore in the Atlantic City stuff. Yeah, so I've never been there. Yeah, so it's like a I thought, I the and then it looked like boardwalk and stuff, right? Yeah, it looked like, and it looked like Taboo was was close to that. It looked like Taboo was like kind of on that thing. What's Taboo? Taboo was one of the after parties last night. It was like so. It was like the debate was, was go Taboo yeah. or go to like the city for Sapphire. Both of them are far. Oh yeah, Bridget B, my girl. She yeah. was featuring, but no, we yesterday was a really horrible day. That was a hot lineup. It was it, yesterday. Yeah, it was one of those days where it's like I was like, oh, I'm done by nine thirty. I'm great, and then no. it's two a.m. and I still haven't got home. And I'm like, what the fuck's happening? Why? Yeah, how am I still here? Yeah, we got home at like two, and then I woke up at eight. Yeah. Yeah, I had, yeah, I, I I got back and I I and I wasn't tired and I was just chilling. So I started so I started watching Goodwill Hunting because I was like, let me watch something I'm not committed to. And then I watched an hour of Goodwill Hunting. Then it's like three thirty. I'm like, I gotta go to bed. I gotta be up in like four hours. Uh, it was it was it was awful. Uh, I don't these know how dimensions these are interesting. yeah they like suck the the days away. Yeah, it's it's really weird and it all starts like kind of meshing. You're just kind. Of, I really enjoy doing them. Um, because it's like the fans they they you know you're this like image to them. You're this figure this sex doll fantasy and then like they see you in real life and it's really it's really nice to meet people but it it becomes really weird because so much other stuff happens yeah the conventions podcasts shoots 
Uh, you know, you're meeting up with friends. It's just a million things going yeah. on. So everything's just kind of like, uh, it's and you're up all night yeah, after a party. Right. It's like, like uh, and it's like, it's like you're, what well, you say, you're five minutes away, but it's like, it, f- it still feels like we, when you leave the convention center, it's like, it's far. For some reason, there's no food in yeah, Edison, New nothing. Jersey. There's no we f- went to some diner no food last anywhere. night. It was really good. Which one did you go to? Um, well, I don't want to say it because I wasn't happy with the service. <laughs> so I don't want to give them free promo. But okay. the food was fucking bomb. Okay, cool. And I don't okay. eat meat. So if I say that, yeah. it means like it's really No shit. Bad. Yeah. Okay, cool. What? Uh, so what's your, so, okay, so then it's like it's like 3 a.m. The only thing you can find is like a 7-Eleven. Where do you live? You live in L.A.? No, I live in uh, Florida. I live in Florida. Okay, so area. I'm trying to figure out if you had a Wawa. I'm a Wawa girl. Okay, you know, okay, so, so, yes. so you, you go to the grocery store, you can go to Wawa. You go to Wawa at 3 a.m.? Publix, a. Wawa. No, I mean, I'm not up at 3 a.m. My bedtime is like 10. But I'm saying, like, like you. If you, I had to. Yeah, I'm getting Yeah, so you're in, chips. That, you're in that situation. You go what? Voodoo chips. What are voodoo chips? Oh. I'm about to change your life. Okay. When am I going to see you again? I'm I don't gonna know. I'm going to bring you voodoo chips. Today. I'll be around. No, but, but vo- there's no Wawa's. Oh, uh, okay. You can yeah, only yeah. get them at Wawa. So, well, I thought Wawa was a Philly thing. I didn't know it was a Florida thing, no, too. No, it's a southern thing. Okay. I don't think it was a Philly thing. Oh, everybody I know from Philly like this, because that's, like, that's when it starts. Oh. So Wawa makes such a big impact on people that, like, the the, sta- the place that it starts, those people are obsessed with it. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's interesting. So we're we're probably honestly we're probably. Close. But okay. So if you ever get into a Wawa, yeah. go and get like by the deli counters. Uh-huh. They have their own like brand of chips, and it's get the voodoo chips. It's like a black and white and by red Wawa bag. No shit. Okay. It's gonna change your yeah. life. Yeah. Okay. Like, so then what? So then as a so you don't eat meat. Do you do you fish? No, I don't eat dead animals. I you eat dairy eat? though, but not dead animals. Though. Okay. Do you do you eat alive? You said it's a weird. Word. Do you eat alive animals? Mm. I mean, I suck dick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I guess. I guess that's people always want to use that as a joke, and I'm like, well, it's like, ugh, no, yeah, I don't eat live. Yeah, animals, I guess. I guess. I don't eat I, animals. I guess if you're in porn, there's no way that you can say anything about meat that doesn't then become right, sexual. Right. I'm just like. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Wait. So then, what's your what's your what's your what's your top veggie? Ooh, my favorite vegetable ever. I like asparagus. Okay, yeah. So I, uh, here's where I'm. I keep bumping into people that are like that that uh, that are doing various things that seem to work for them. So I was so I was doing this sort of meat veg keto kind of the based thing, um, and then I met a buddy who's like, oh yeah, you can't eat lectins. So then now I'm reading oh. about lectins. Uh, That's le- new. I've never even yeah, heard lec- that. Yeah, lectins are le- and there's like a, a couple people that like wrote books about lectins. So like lectins are is like the waxy covering on like all raw veggies. You know, oh. mainly like maybe like beans and legumes and like the and I've heard um of that. and but it's in like a lot of like nightshade uh, um, vegetables like like eggplant and shit. And so like now I'm like oh I can eat lectins either. So it's like now it's like like the more you read like the more it becomes like you can eat four things. But have you ever been to Europe, for example? Yeah, I was just there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so like you notice how different everything tastes there. Um, like I'm from Belgrade, Serbia, so like I, was, I noticed when I go there, like the tomatoes don't taste like tomatoes. What do they taste like? They taste like obviously clearly natural tomatoes. What yeah. we eat here is is like so processed. Th- yeah, this is what I over thought. Over there, it's so different. Like the f- the fruits and veggies are f- wrinkly. They're dark. Yeah. They're like because they're very like they're grown at the farm and they're like brought and they don't have they, big groceries. They have imperfections stores. in them. Yeah, they have like they have like people on the street selling yeah. them, and you just go downstairs, you know, out of your building and walk a couple yeah. blocks and get fruits and veggies from your neighbor. Yeah. You know, like. And it's so different. The, yeah, this happened to me. I realized how bad it was when I was at I was at Panera, and I was like I was like starting to spread the rumor that Panera's apples are like non apples. And then I finally talked to one of the managers one of the days. She was she was like she was I I think I, I think she was at a show and she was just like she was bragging about Panera and how they all the and, and the quality of the food. And she's stuff. a manager of Panera. Right? Yeah, and she's bragging about it. Yeah, and she's bragging about Panera. Never and I was and I was like, can I ask you a question? I was like, why don't apples taste like apples at Panera? And she's like, oh, because the apples you've been eating have been like injected and in and, and had like sugar inserted in them. So you've been eating these sweet crazy apples that don't come from nature. All right, we haven't tampered with our apples. That's why. So you're like you're like in this world. Mind blown. Yeah. So I was like I was like, oh, your shitty apples are what apples are yeah and i'm like and have i've been eating this? candy it's been going around social media where there it's like it's like uh, this video of what like bananas used to look like like no i've seen it yeah a banana is supposed to be all seeds we I've, modified no it yeah i make this argument about corn all the time because corn was, it like, was like all kinds purple of purple and blue you know, so, yeah. yeah it was I know, all I kinds this of video. vegetables and fruits on there and it was saying how how we've modified it over like the centuries and the decades yeah. or whatever 
and how like to crispy, last yeah. to last longer for it's us like to uh, be able to eat it though right. like we've made it so it looks better to us right because we're really spoiled yeah. you know we've ruined what the well, earth and like yeah but a not hundred even years we've literally well, even that's like it's like ruined. like everything is like to it's to monetize it so you take out you take out nutrients so then it'll last longer so like when when the fruit only has starch and sugar in it the shit lasts forever right it's like uh like fresh avocados i just tweeted that fresh avocados last like 30 to 40 minutes like that's yeah, how long avocados I are right i haven't mastered avocados yeah. i have not mastered you buy it you buy one you're like okay cool it's it's like, mushy, i'm gonna wait i'm gonna good. wait i'm gonna wait and, and then, then you cut in it's like oh, it's no. like bright yeah and then it's got like this got God. strings coming out of it now like for some brown. reason yeah it's not good yeah avocados are, are right for prob- for like a minute to a minute tricky. and a half yeah <laughs> uh but that's I, yeah that's what everything used to be so now we've changed everything so that they can actually sell figs. I got figs in uh, in England. I, I was like walking by. I was like, I've never seen a fresh fig. We used to have a, a tree yeah. when I was in Belgrade. And so, so so it was like Monday I got figs. I was like, figs are the greatest. I'm like tweeting, figs are the greatest thing I've ever eaten. I went back Tuesday and they were all rotten. So the same figs. Yeah. Figs are ripe for a day. But I think also Europeans don't really go by those standards. Like my mom will think things are good forever. <laughs> right. She's like, it's expired. You know, I'll tell her. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, this is expired. She's like, no, it's not. Like it, they just put that date. Yeah, on. I'm like, like the, she, they have stronger immune systems. Yeah, my grand, like, no. my, the like the my grandfather's get deli meat in his house, and you open the fridge, and you're like, Grandpa, all this meat is bad. Yeah. And then you're like going to throw it out. He's like, ah, ah, ah. he's like, it's t- and he'll eat it. And I'm like, I don't yeah, know. How, no, I don't know how you make it. That. I don't know how he makes it to the next day. Yeah, my I would I would have gotten that. food poisoning, but he's like he's got strong like depression immune systems. Yeah, no, I don't. That's not for me. <laughs> if some like yeah, no, that's how my mom's house is. Like she she'll have things like medicines will be expired, and she's like, no, it's fine. I'm like, this is like two years ago. Like, I agree with that. I, I don't have th- these antibiotics. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think medicine really goes bad because they, they definitely want they just want you to chuck it. They just want you to. The worst is when you go to somebody's house and you happen to go into their their cabinet. Oh, this happened to me the other day when uh, I was like, I was like, uh, I was on a date with this girl and I ended up uh, in her cabin. I was like looking for That's like, a kind band-aid. of weird. And I wasn't snooping, but but then I found like antibiotics that they didn't finish. And I was like, oh, you I was like, I got to go. <laughs> I, I was like, I got to go. Whatever you had, you still have. That shit is floating around in you somewhere. You don't finish your antibiotics? No, I have such a bad. I mean, but also like you get antibiotics now. It's Diana. You get antibiotics now for like everything. Yeah, why don't? Like, yeah, I everything. won't take drugs for really anything. I when I got knee surgery, and they gave me th- they they, uh, they gave me two bags of drugs, and I was like, "What's the second <laughs> bag for?" And they're like, "Oh, two if you do the," they were like, "If you if you eat the whole first bag, you're gonna need the second bag," because it was like it was like to counteract all the shit that would happen. And I was like, "Oh, I'm not finishing if any of these bags." You gotta take the medicine to fix the medicine. Yes, like, what? that's where we're at. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I got bit by a bird, and my mom what? tried to put me on antibiotics. You can't just you can't just say you got bit by a bird and like skip over it like that happens <laughs> the story. to people. No, 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 no. like <laughs> it's it was, never it, was, it was like one of those white cockatiel things. So it's like a pet. Yeah, it was a pet. Okay. But like so she really liked me. Her name's Angel. Yeah. Like my mom's friend like breeds exotic animals. Okay. He has like monkeys and shit. And so I'm like, I want to go see them, you uh-huh. know. So I'm there. I'm hanging out with the monkeys. Everything's cool. Everything's Gucci. The monkeys are awesome. He has a big ass alligator in his yard. You don't get bit by the monkey. No. You don't get bit by the alligator. No. And then the bird is like feeling me. Like she starts dancing, like roughs up her feathers. I'm like, oh, okay, it's lit. Like she likes me, you know. <laughs> I'm like, I want to hold her. And he's like, okay. So he gives me the bird. Yeah. She crawls on my finger. Everything's going great. And I don't know what happened out of nowhere. She didn't just like nip me. Like she like dug. Oh, this is still. How long was this? Like a week ago. But like that hurt. Yeah. Like it didn't bleed. Because it's got like. It's just like a beak. piercing. Yeah, yeah. It didn't bleed. There was no blood. I was like. And my hand got huge. Oh, wow. Like swelled up. It you was got like h- avian flu or some shit. Well, I think avian flu is a lot <laughs> worse than a fucking <laughs> cockatiel I biting know, me. Know, know. But. Yeah, we were just talking about avian flu. I don't want to go this year because it was so bad last year. Oh, no, no, I was talking about avian flu, not avian flu. Oh, that's I thought funny. you meant avian. Yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> I thought because we were just talking. Sarah funny. was just here, yeah. and we were just talking about yeah, somebody avian. Said something, somebody said this to me the other year. Uh, I guess it was last year, so the only year I've been. Uh, and I wasn't, I wasn't like in there enough. I was like, do I was like outskirts Everything doing, but yeah, everybody gets sick afterwards. You just gotta get mad. Yeah, you gotta get mad high and take like double your vitamins. Everybody's just like uh, taking emergency and shit. Yeah. 
Is this a you get fucked up afterwards? It's like you just go home and now you're and you're just dying. Like I so it starts on Wednesday. I lost my voice on Thursday. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't think it's like it's like even when, even when I do like comedy tours, if I do like if I do like a hard week, I don't have I don't have a voice by Sunday Monday. Yeah, and then you just have to recover. You just. You yeah, just, you, you just, know, I always wonder how like singers do that. You know, I've always I, wondered that. that uh, yeah, that's that's that's. I, I, I'm not like, yelling into the mic. It's like, how are you, Mariah Carey, and you right. still find or them? like Beyonce did that tour, you know, with Jay Z, and like she does like shows, shows. Like, yeah, she's not just like, oh, you know, like yeah, she's, she's like killing it. Yeah, yeah, like going insane, like all kinds right. of stuff going on, like. And then she's fine. And you're a mom of yeah. three. Like that's a lot. Are they, th- they have three kids now. Yeah, they had twins. No shit. Yeah, they had twins. And I'm not. I'm not caught up on the Jay Z Beyonce drama. It's no drama. They have like no drama. <laughs> They're like very chill. <laughs> I see it. I see it on my explore page. Is that your? Is that your? Uh, like, who are your like people that you like fangirl about? Is it, is Beyonce Ooh, one of them? No, no, definitely not. Um. Well, so Britney Spears really? is getting a residency in Vegas no shit. or like renewing it or something. Okay. So I want to go to that really bad. Where? Do you know where? I have no idea. But it doesn't matter. I'll figure it out. J-Lo had the one and I was like, I should see I that like show. I just never. When I get to Vegas, I never end up doing any of the things I said I was going to do. I'm like, I'm going to see yeah. a show. I'm going to do the thing. And it's like, it's I gone. Know. I want to just go to Vegas like for a week and like not book anything. Like, yeah. No work. You know, there's companies out there. Like I always end up booking stuff. Right. I'm not. I'm gonna go for a week and like do things. And chill, yeah. There's so much to do. Yeah. But yeah, I'm not really like a fan. Diana is a music fan, my best friend yeah. over there, and she keeps trying to get me to go to concerts and shit all the time. I every time and we go to a concert, like, I, I don't. Money. You don't get it. That's how I feel. It's like it's like how what? I know. For I what? took my mom to the Luke Bryan concert in Tampa. Okay. It was like outdoor indoor. Outdoor yeah. in the dead of summer. Yeah. Oh my god, it was horrible, and I wore heels. Tampa in summer. Yeah. At not, the Raymond James. Not okay. In yeah. the middle of the day. Yeah. Not not good. It was horrible. Yeah, that's crazy. The um, yeah, I, I the, the last I I did go. I I have some dope friends, so I did get to go. I got like a call uh three weeks ago. My friend was like, "Yo, I got you these uh, Gambino tickets," and I was like, "What? What? All right, where?" And they're like, "Philly," and I was like, F- "Come on, man. like fuck no." All right, <laughs> so I like went and I got, to, but I drove. So I drove two and a half hours to this thing because this traffic is like, you know, it's a, it was like a, uh, it was like a weekday and it was like, you know, it's in Philly from New York, so it's like you're gonna bump into some shit. And so I get down there, park the car, get all the way to the thing, get in the thing. He's going on. He's got. He's one song in, and then he just does an hour, and then like, okay, good night. And then that was it. And I was like, I was like, I just drove. I just drove three hours. Because you gotta. Because go they want you to get there before for all the opening acts. Yeah. And stuff. But it's like even he just did that. It's like it. So See, what are we I doing? think I think like I think I like performances. Yeah. You know, like so the Luke Bryan thing. Like there was a bunch of other artists there too, but it's just country. They literally get up there with their guitar and sing into a microphone. Phone. Yeah. How much of that can you watch? <laughs> See, like Beyonce, like though, I'm not a super fan of I like Beyonce, that opinion. but at least I feel like Beyonce is like dancing. There's yeah, like she's doing shit stuff. going she's on. She's doing shit. Yeah. I'm like, okay, so I'm getting like a dance performance, singing, and then her husband, Jay Z, comes out and yeah. rap. I'm like, okay, this is a nice little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do this. I didn't go, but. It's hard. Rap that. concerts are hard. It's like. um when Jay Z was doing that one with uh, Justin Timberlake, that was a cool show because it was like it's like a, there was two things happening, you know. It's yeah. like but it's like Justin rap concerts is a superstar though. Yeah. Like, well, I think Jay Z's bigger than. But than yeah, but he it's performs. But Justin Timberlake performs again. Right. You know, he dances. Yeah. There's pyrotechnics. There's so it was a cool thing, and it was like, and then they would do this thing. It's like Justin would just come out for like a thing, and then and then they and they kept doing this like thing where it's like someone would go away, and then it'd be exciting when he came back. Mm, like Jay Z would come back, yeah. and, the, and the part in the song when he's supposed to come on, it was cool. But yeah. no. Here's what I here's that what I think about concerts. concerts. I think they've gotten I think I've gotten too big. Like I think I think if I was able to see like John Legend with like I don't know five I saw John Legend was like a uh, uh, theater that I think it was like sat like twenty five hundred people and it was like life changing because he's like he's right there. Oh, I did that with G Easy in and LA. It was a private him. listening yeah. party. It was amazing. Way better. There Way was only different. like a hundred people. Way different. Oh, it like it, th- then you go. Oh, I get why people. But it's like but it, when it's like thirty five thousand people, fifty thousand, you're like, why are we here? <laughs> I'm just watching it on TV. That's how I felt at Universal for. Halloween Horror Nights I just went and they were literally pushing you through the haunted houses like cattle Ugh. like you couldn't even get entertained
entertain. Yeah. It's just like. You're just like, like ah, yeah, 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 okay. Like, okay. Like, I saw you do that to the person okay, okay. in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, that's how the I one. Felt. That, yeah, that's the trick with the haunted house. They have to have enough turns, right? Yeah. That you can like run out on somebody. Space. Yeah. Yeah, no, they, it was horrible. I didn't do any haunted hay rides. It was this like year. two and a half hours for waits, but I ended up getting the express passes. Oh, so it was shit. only like 45 minute waits. Only that's, yeah, that's still crazy. Pass. Yeah, it was insane. So the last time I went to an amusement park, it was this. It was this like very tiny amusement park, in it's in Branson, Missouri. It's called Silver <laughs> Dollar so City. Um, it's like just Missouri south of Springfield. Of weird states. And we like s- we snuck in because um, the guy was like, "Yeah, yeah I got you. I got you." The guy who owns the comic was like, "I got you. I got you." And Christopher Michael Ray, and uh, and we're like, "What?" And he's like, "He just he's been doing this for years. Where he just goes in the employee entrance and he does this thing." And so we went in, and it was like, "There's nobody here." It's like it's Missouri. It's like th- even when it's packed, there's nobody there. So we just kept riding the rides, and it was like, w- "I've never had the experience where I got to ride the roller coaster so many times that like my body was rejecting the roller coaster." And it's like usually you have to wait in line yeah. <laughs> forty five minutes, and then you're great. By the time you get up, you're great. But it's like we got off, we're like, "Oh, let's do it again." And, and then we do so it again, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's like now we've ripped the ride three times and like i'm i'm in my 30s like my body's not like just chill with that anymore yeah like it's like uh so yeah this this whole the the florida um like oh what's it what's it called the uh, amusement park culture is crazy to me i like bush gardens a lot yeah i went to epcot somebody wanted that's almost down there they don't want to go to disney want to go to epcot so i went to epcot and i was like this is terrible why are we doing this yeah disney yeah no like so bush gardens is in tampa it's out of orlando it's it's smaller like yeah. it's still big but it's also it also has like hella animals and stuff, right. and they don't live in cages. Like they're actually like in the open, just walking around. Like yeah, I think of I think of bush guards. I think of like giraffes just like hanging yeah, out. Yeah, they there are there are <laughs> giraffes. There's like buff. There's all kinds of cool things, and I like bush gardens because they you know it's small. You can walk around if you get the express pass. There's almost no wait. Like maybe yeah. a couple minutes if you want to wait for the front row. But the rides are good. You know, there's like it's good like di- like Disney and stuff. It's, you cra- it's crazy. Do, you got to be a special type of person to do Disney. <laughs> I did Disney when I was nine years old. Yeah. <laughs> Never again. Yeah. You did it with I your hated family. it then. Really? My dad. So, yeah, we I were living remember. in Canada. My dad, you know, we were in Florida. I used to play tennis. My dad took me to Disney and it was horrible. I was, I remember just being so miserable. I could I see you nine. being a tennis player all like now. Now it kind of makes sense. Yeah. I played tennis like 15 <laughs> years almost. You're Serbian. You the thing. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, I yeah. yeah. I had a crazy dad. <laughs> yeah, crazy tennis dad. He's, he's, uh, I don't know. I don't know what you yell at tennis people. Yeah, and I was uh-huh. gonna yell. I was gonna like fake yell something, but I couldn't. Immediately, I was like, oh, I don't know what you would even yell. What like, do you yell? Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Good what shot. D- what crazy shit is he yelling? No, yeah. curve it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what the. <laughs> yeah, cross court <laughs> down the line. So wait, uh, do you do you, do you do you find that you still enjoy watching tennis? Um, or are you out? No. I just don't want... First of all, I don't watch TV. The only thing I watch on TV is football. I watch football. I'm a football fan. Yeah? Like What's football. your team? The Bucks. Yeah, I guess you have to be, right? I don't have to be. You're there. I mean... I don't know. I don't... You can be a fan of teams that aren't from your you city. You could. It's, but har- it's a harder life. Because you can't right, go see your right. people. Right, So, like, I was <laughs> never really into sports like that. Like, I dated this guy that was into basketball and football, and he was into the Cowboys and the Heat. So I got into basketball. That's a that that's the wrong kind of fan. It was really weird. The Cowboys and the Heat. That it was that so says weird. to me, that's, he's and not from he Dallas. He's not from Miami. Of like some basketball team. Oh, um, he was a fan of what's that? Florida State for football. Cowboys. Uh, the Gators. No, yeah. Florida State is Seminoles. Oh, the Gators Seminoles. is Florida. Right, 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 right. It was all really strange. Yeah, he's a he's, and then he like he's a bandwagon guy. College basketball was a, a fourth team. It was really strange. What was it? What was the college basketball? I can't remember. This, this, this is what I the, now now you get now you pique my interest. College yeah, basketball. it was weird. This is the only thing I care about. Syracuse basketball is pretty much the only sport. No, I can't. I yeah, I can't about. remember. But it was so I kind of got into basketball and then like. The last couple of years, I got really into Probably football. Duke or North Carolina. If he's, Duke. If he, yes, he's a fucking bandwagon guy. <laughs> wow. Fucking Cowboys, Duke, Seminoles, and uh, uh, what was the other one? Heat. And the Heat. That's With yeah. LeBron Heat. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, I think he's still a Heat fan, and LeBron's where? Somewhere LeBron's at the Lakers now. China. He's in L.A. now. Oh. No, LeBron will never go to China. <laughs> he's too good. He's the, he's, the, he's the centerpiece of the league. It's so strange how it's it's interesting because it's like that he had the most hate on him, the most shade on him, the most like uh, like people were just like making up like uh, how everybody before and after him is better or whatever. And then in the last is he like good good now? He's like, the greatest player of all time. And, so, in the, and so they so it's been decided he's better than Michael Jordan. Yeah, so even, I've been curious. Even, I'm just waiting to see it on my Twitter. Yeah, even That's in the, the last two years. That's the extent of my LeBron knowledge. Yeah, even in Twitter. the last in the last two years, people that were like they were like even hated. They're like, all right, well, I mean, we got to give it to LeBron. That's like. 
You just if you just look at the numbers, it's like it's oh it's over. He's like in, he's in the top but, five. But of okay, but do you ever wonder this? Like if you so my dad was really into basketball, so we'd yeah. watch basketball in the nineties. Mm-hmm. And if the points went up to like seventy, eighty, that was considered a high scoring game. Yeah. Like eighties, you know. Probably yeah. In the nineties. So now we're in twenty eighteen. And, you know, these games regularly are over 120, yeah, 130. Yeah. So how do you compare the numbers? Like, well, is that inflation? No, no because, <laughs> like, well, because well, you could take the opposite argument because uh, uh, Will Chamberlain was, was score- like, Will Chamberlain scored the most points of anybody ever. He was scoring 100-point games because he was seven feet tall and there was nobody else in in his category. But then you also, you have to try to put, how would you judge his performance if you put him in today? Today's basketball where everybody's seven fit, feet tall, right. everybody's strong, right. everybody's fast. Right. Everybody's it's like, yeah, it's the, it's like the problem with, uh, really uh, what was his name? Uh, it was the problem with um, uh, Jim Brown. Jim Brown was like was bigger than everybody in football, so he was just running through people, and nobody could stop him. So he was good in his time, you know? He was like, a monster, how do you, yeah. But how do you compare? You can't. Yeah. That's why when people ask me, like, who do you think is better? I'm like, I, you can't compare. It's a completely different. You can't compare football now to football 50 years ago or basketball now to basketball 100 years ago. Yeah, right? Well, that's all we do. We do. We, we, we come up with reasons. We make up. It's all bullshit. You know, all, they're, they it's keep all trying bullshit. to compare, like, uh, Floyd Mayweather to Muhammad Ali and stuff. I'm like, it's so different. Well, it's like, all, how it's, do you do that? Yeah, it's all bullshit. Like, as soon as we took out, like, uh, like the, when, once we went from Gladiator sports to like 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 sports where people are not dying it's now it now there's a like debate. you can't really judge <laughs> right he hasn't like, killed as many people right well that, that was the thing it's like no he's still alive like he's he lived like that right. was that's how you knew he was good he's oh he's, no he's alive that's why right. he's lebron he's alive right uh, so now this we have to make up a and bunch then of shit. another thing you got to think about is the injuries you know yeah. lebron's never really had a serious injury but, right okay but this speaks to his this speaks to him, him the fact that he's a phenom and he, and, and and his conditioning Cause that's what I'm realizing. Like, so all these players that are like getting hurt are my age and a little bit younger. So like now I'm like, oh, I'm like this is that how, that's how I know I'm trash and I'm like my life is gonna be. Like, I'm just an old man now because all these guys are getting hurt. But LeBron has never gotten hurt. That's not that's not like a fluke. He's like his conditioning yeah. is out of control. His you can't hurt him. Right. Like you know all these other guys that that are that are LeBron's age, their knees are gone. Dwayne Wade, and especially them being that tall, like that's a lot yeah. of weight to yes. carry around. Yes. For yeah, for him to be like my knees hurt, and I'm five three. Yeah, for him to have not gotten hurt uh, at all is is like, it's not a fluke. It's like, and it's it's unheard of, right? But it's not like um, it's about Jordan. Same thing. It's like it just speaks to your conditioning. It's like that's yeah. how you stay in the league. That's how you that's how you be the best athlete of all time. That's interesting. It's not just scoring points. Everything. It's like you have to stay. Number one yeah. forever to be third. What is he? He's thirty-four years old. To be thirty-three, Who thirty-four is years old. LeBron is thirty-four. Yeah. To be thirty-four He's years that old. old. Yeah. To be I thir- thought he was like twenty-nine. Huh. To be thirty. Yeah, he was twenty-nine five years ago. So no, <laughs> I thought he was like my age. I'm twenty-nine. Are you twenty-nine? Yeah. I no, he, he was, no, I he thought came he was in. Even younger. He came into the league uh, the year before I graduated college, and he didn't go to college. Or th- two years, whatever. It is. He's a, I think he he's did a, like year. a year, right? No, he didn't do a year. Carmelo did a year, so he went oh. straight in because that was the big. Everybody was like, "Oh, he's got to go to college." And like, oh. Why? He's the but they there. don't still have in football. They have to go to college, right? Uh, in probably. Don't. I think that's probably the rule. In football, they do. Yeah. Like you can't just go. But that's. The, but could you imagine an eighteen-year-old boy from high school going into the draft? Well, that's like, the that's no. the big thing. Is that right? They want it's they they physical. they want to pretend like uh, they need more time to get bigger and and mature or whatever. But it's not that. It's like. We're just trying to make more money. We're trying to make the college. We'll let the colleges make money. Yeah, that's yeah, all it is. That makes sense. It's all bullshit. Bananas, football. <laughs> it's all about so, so money. That's like <laughs> the, that's what we've learned in this podcast. <laughs> yeah. Well, Bananas. I mean, we're at we're at a convention now where people can can buy your face on a piece of paper. We know exactly what this world is. You know. Yeah. You know, I was who was I talking to, Diana? I remember, but I was talking about because I danced in Tampa mm-hmm. like eight years. I danced, and you know, I used to hustle for yeah. my twenty dollar lap dances. Sure. And I'm just like, you know, it's crazy. I might have been talking to her about it. And I'm like, it's just crazy that people are paying me like twenty dollars to take a fucking picture with yeah. me. Like, yeah. Is that what you're charging? Twenty bucks? Yeah, That's it's great. twenty dollars for a topless picture. That's great. But it's just like it's shocking to me. Yeah. 
And then people will come up and tell me like all about my scenes that I don't even remember. Like right. I learn things about myself. Right. I'm like, well, it's very interesting. I don't remember that. Yeah, like, we, yeah. When we're doing the work, we don't think about it as much. Especially no. stuff stuff like that. It's like with comedy, you have a set, so you like know your jokes. But like when I do podcasts or when I was doing podcasts, I I signed up to do one of these roast things a couple of years ago, and oh, the guy who was going against me researched the shit out of me, <laughs> and he listened to every interview I ever did, where I was just like, I don't know, I was just like talking <laughs> shit. I don't like, know what yeah, it, it was mom. like. A, yeah, it was nothing. <laughs> And then uh, and he like and he's like he's like Dan once said on an interview and I was like oh I have no idea I said that but probably that sounds like <laughs> something I might say, um, but yeah it's it's interesting because yeah the people are like combing through it they're like and it's like what like the one thing you might have done in the scene is like that's their thing that's their moment you know yeah yeah, yeah I'm like yeah I don't remember that at all but I believe you yeah yeah you're under this you're under this sort of microscope in a sense it's mm, um, interesting a pervy pervy like uh voyeuristic microscope yeah but i'm okay <laughs> you know a lot as much as we fight to be like treated equally like sex workers and you know there's a whole thing on twitter now going like the movement like yeah. respect and stuff well i saw if this paypal thing today what did you we'll say? get in, we'll get into that yeah after. but there's like if we didn't have the stigma we wouldn't have the fame like that yeah the, the stigma is part of it i don't want to be treated bad bad but i want some stigma yeah you know well it's the taboo of like we're still as much as we're like an open country compared to a lot of other places we're still very repressed no america's extremely repressed if you go to europe like you'll see like you know bras on billboards yeah like tits and like it's more yeah. open like but sexually. but you go to some of the other countries and it's like even some of the discussions are not that well oh, yeah. south uh, south africa in particular it's like some of the jokes that i have that that, that i rely on in the u.s about relationships and sex and and, and and guys <laughs> doing busting. certain things to girls. <laughs> yeah like the crowd like they're they they can like you can tell that there's a truth to it but then they're they're like sort of like looking around and it feels like we don't know if we can talk about this so there's still a lot of repression around the world and you know i think i i don't know that we're saying we're the most open in the u.s but i think we we think yeah that we're, we're, get, pretty, we're getting we think there. that we're pretty we're open like working on it we're like but the still, standard kind yeah. of a little bit but we're still this thing yeah it's like but yeah the taboo and the uh the like i don't know the naughtiness of it is what is what is what drives this this whole business i've seen this guy on twitter he said um Female porn stars, especially the famous ones, shouldn't have kids. Shouldn't have kids. Yeah. Why? And I'm just, well, no one really knows <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> why he said that. This he is what's great. It's like somebody but says a thing like, and then I'm you plug like, in the stuff. I'm like, I'm like, wait till you hear how like non-porn stars get kids. <laughs> like, <laughs> who's going to tell him, yes. guys? Like, well, this what? is this is the thing I found about this industry is like, is like, uh, there's way more danger. There's way more like, there's way more disease. There's way more like. Uh, haphazard behavior there's way more accidental things that are happening in like civilian sex yeah you don't than there get are in this because like everything is everything he, and there's way more there's way more like non-consensual like everything in this industry is pretty so regulated that it's like you know we're doing these 10 things uh with this you know it's like and every it's like you gotta agree you literally it's like you're almost like you're agreeing to the checklist all the way down the line yeah and now they've introduced a consent checklist to a lot of sets nice have like a consent like where you can say like what you're comfortable with and what you're not and I, I like it, but like, yeah, like, like if if we ever get anything in porn as far as STDs, it comes from the outside. It's yeah. From like performers being with their significant others, right. Or like, you know, sleeping around. People that aren't tested every it's couple never, weeks. Yeah, right. it's now a couple weeks. Yeah, it's crazy. Yes, I mean, yeah, people, yeah, people in like people in uh in like civilian life, like God knows when these people are getting tested. Yeah. No, they don't. I mean, I met a girl that's never had a pap smear. She's that's crazy. 25. Not just not an STD test, but never even had a pap. That's crazy. Yet. Yeah. So. The um, yeah. There's. I think there's this like there's this idea that like oh if I get if I get an like alarming phone call from somebody then that's my test. Yeah. It's like guys, it's fucked up. Girls, <laughs> please, non-binary, they them I, go get tested. Yeah. Well, it's like there's two things. It's like there's a, there's the denial of, oh I'm not gonna get anything, and then there's the other one of like oh I don't want to know if I got something. I think that's what it is. Yeah. It's like you don't want to know. Yeah, my buddy, my my buddy. It's it's obviously it's very satirical. My buddy Andrew Schultz, shout out Andrew Schultz, has a joke where he goes, he goes, he goes, guys, I've never, uh, uh, what does he say? Yeah, that I won't get anything. No, I think there's both, there's both, there's both ends. There's the, the well, nobody, yeah, and people don't voice the other end. Yeah. Um, what does he say? He goes, oh, he goes, uh, um, what does he? Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot the joke now. Damn it. Um. Oh no, he goes. Yeah, he goes. Uh, my Andrew shows. He goes. Uh, um, he goes. Guy, he'll like take a break in the show. He goes, guys, want to let me know. I've uh, I've never had an STD. 
and I'll do like a bow and I get like a big thing in the crowd. He goes, I've also never had uh, an STD test. <laughs> and then it goes this other way. And he goes, that's how you don't get STDs. You don't take that hater ass test. <laughs> but, I guess some jokes. No, it's, just no, it's really funny. Diana, yeah. no, no it's I really don't funny. find that funny. No, it's really at funny. All. The acts okay. shit of it. No, it's just too close it's to funny home. If you have yeah. to be there, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's very satirical, and you got you got to get the whole the whole vibe of the thing. I but like, like, but I that's like a real. That's a there's a truth comedians. to that. Okay, yeah. Nobody likes cruise ship comedians. That's not real. That's not a real I love thing. That. No, if you're on that, is cru- if, you, if you're on cruise ships and you don't know what avian flu is, that's weird. Cause that's avian. I know now. I thought we were talking yeah, about avian. Yeah, the bird flu. Bird flu. No, bird I flu. We were talking about, we were, oh. Wait, so what? Okay, so we never finished the bird story. Let's finish the bird story. So what happened? So what did they give you? No, nothing. I told her I didn't need it. I'm like, it's who? a pet. You told who? My mom. She wanted to give she's me She's just giving, she wanted to give you random other people's antibiotics? Like she's no, a doctor? She, she's a, yeah, she's a doctor. Oh, she, she is a doctor. She, like she has like tons of <laughs> oh, okay. antibiotics. She's a doctor and she's telling you they don't expire and you're going, no, they, they definitely yeah. expire. Mama, you know. Oh, it's funny. I like she's this. Older. I, <laughs> I like this idea this. where no matter who your parents are. You're still like your kids that still think you're full of shit. Like it doesn't matter. Like you could be you could be Einstein, and then you're like, Dad, you don't fucking know. Well, also we're getting to this stage, like where we're going from, like she was my mom taking care of me. Yeah. You know, to like from there going into like she's getting old, and I'm like almost thirty, and care? she had me late. Yeah, and I have to start taking care of her. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we're in, we're going through this weird. So now was I'm there, like, was there a was there a moment in the middle? I like this moment in the middle right now where I think I'm at with my family. We're uh, we're friends. Like yeah, that's what parents. me and my mom are too right now. Like we're the best of friends, but I still feel like she's getting older. Her mind is not always yeah. all there. Sometimes she says stuff, and I'm just like, <laughs> like <laughs> what? <laughs> or like she'll be hella confused, and I have to like help her out. Yeah. Like yeah, not so like bad. Like she's not senile. Yeah. She's like doing her thing. But <laughs> what is, what is her thing? I'm like, what is her thing? I like, just like to say this. She's, she's my, my mom. My mom's out there. She's doing her she's thing. She's being a whore. <laughs> is no, she, is my mom is. Is like mom throwing the cat her. around? Oh, she's being. Wow. Well, she met a guy now, I guess. Yeah. But um, yeah, she's That's going cool. through. 2018 was her year. And like f- I've been living through. And you her. feel good about it? Uh, yeah, she's doing her thing. Yeah. But it's it's also been like a talk with us where she wasn't using protection and things like that, and this I had is to a, like, like a real really problem. communicate with Not her. Not that your mom's in a in a in a home or anything, but like uh, this is a real problem in in retirement communities. People just banging and just and just not thinking about it. Yeah, she's it. not even in a retirement community, so, but so I, in those environments. The, but you the have old people that have like Tinder and stuff yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, well, it's like retirement homes on the internet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when the standards go down, you don't care. And you know they all like, they all had like hepatitis back when, cause they all fuck like after the war. You know they came the right. baby boomers. Okay. A lot of them were born. Yeah, I was reading about this. No, Hep- go that's on, why please. you see commercials. No. It's like all the hepatitis commercials yeah. with the old the the baby boomers. Okay. And I'm like, mom, like you could get something. Like, right. You know what if you're like with someone who who was born with it or like you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's all your bad. Mom, you don't want your mom getting the hep. No, That's like, funny. don't. That's not funny, but it's funny. Yeah, but, n- you know, now, like, sh- stuff, there's very few diseases that you get for life. You know, pretty much everything now is, like, cure. didn't they cure HIV, like, or suppress it or something? I don't know. That that's Dr. I, I, Sebi I, supposedly cured it. That's the big thing that is that is a piece of knowledge that's, that you guys have that I think a lot of civilians don't have. Because Lance was talking, like, in detail about it yesterday. Lance, and Lance, I, Lance. Lance Hart. And oh, I have no. I Lance. Lance is great, right? He's here. He's, yeah, he's great. Is Charlie I, here? Yeah, yeah, they're here, yeah. Oh. And um, he, yeah, there. Uh, he was like talking at length about it, and I was like, oh, I, yeah, I don't, ha- I didn't have any information. Um, so I think, I think civilian wise, I think we're we're still very much convinced that there's no. And he, part. and you know what, I would trust Charlotte and Lance to have oh, the for sure. information yeah, yeah, yeah. because they're well, yeah, very open. He's a open crossover, and, and he's yes, a crossover guy. So he, he, bi, he, he interacts with. with I think people. he's like lifestyle bi. Yeah. So like he, I, I would trust him to be educated about that. Yeah, he's yeah, very yeah. responsible. For sure. So that would be someone interesting. Um, to but no, I don't think I don't think they've but I don't think they I don't think they've cured all. But I think Doctor Sebi cured it and they killed him. Who killed him? The government. Which government? Our government? No, the African government. Okay. He cured like eight people. I don't from, have like, this HIV. I don't have this information. Yeah, Doctor Sebi, look it up. They killed okay. him like a couple years ago. No shit. Ago, maybe. No shit. Um, they say they didn't, but I'm pretty sure. And I'm not. I'm Sarah J is a conspiracy theorist. Okay. I'm not. Yeah, I'm we didn't. Not, yeah, I'm we very, didn't get in. Well, I was like trying to get science, into some of them with her, but I didn't have any offhand. I I didn't know it was going to go that way. 
so I didn't have any information you to like prepared for Sarah J. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know what we were gonna do with it. Um, yeah. it's funny. Uh, what was it called? What's, okay, so the PayPal thing. This is the oh. you were talking about. So do you know what the? So PayPal um, wasn't accepting people in your industry. Oh, that's so old. But now PayPal is allowing um, one of the the tube sites to pay performance. My site goes through PayPal, but okay. they deleted my personal account. Yeah. They so the sites do it, personal. but they won't let the, the actors do it. Right. So, like, my site, NinaK.com, yeah. I accept payments through PayPal. Yeah. People can use their PayPal to sign up for my site. But I cannot, you know, me, I cannot have a personal. I have a business PayPal PayPal's account. fucking up. It's insane. Google Wallet, Venmo, Cash App, PayPal. Um, there's another one. The, yeah, I, another I, I, one. I think you can send cash through Facebook now. Yeah, but all those deleted me. Oh no shit! So who? So who? St- so who's the one? What do you mean? Who's the one that's like rising to the? So it's like Instagram. Instagram is like sort of discriminating against nudity and those sorts of things. Twitter's chill. So like, who's the one in in like money transfer that's like, that's like n- that doesn't have a problem with it? None. I don't know of any that allow adult. No shit. Yeah. You got to go through like an adult payment processor. Okay. Lance so that, had that company. Per okay, so that's how that so that's how they're that's how they're they're staying afloat. These guys on, on the on the back end is they they still get to they're the only ones who are doing the processing, so they get to like hang in. Right, there. like your OnlyFans and stuff. Yeah. Like uh, CC Bill does like a lot of adult sites. I use CC Bill on yeah, my site. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, none of those like cash style apps, you know. Yeah. Maybe Apple Pay. But my credit card or my debit card didn't work with them, so I can't use. Oh yeah. But maybe Apple Pay, yeah. Okay. Now that I think about it, right? How would they? It's through your phone, right? Yeah. How would they? I don't know. Keep I don't. Tr- I don't understand any of the thing. The shadow banning. It's legal discrimination, is what it is. Like bank accounts, a lot of sex workers' bank accounts get shut down. Like really? They can't get their money for ninety days. No yeah. shit. I didn't Sarah's know this was bank account was shut down no years shit. ago. Her Airbnb, they um, Why? banned her because she's a performer. So they they like background checked her and then said you they can't. It's her real name also, Sarah J. Yeah, J's. but she can't. Her real name. So that wouldn't make. So then they wouldn't let her do the. That's weird. Yeah, it's um. Yeah, so they must have seen you know. Yeah, Sarah. They must have seen Sarah J. You know, like. She can't have an Airbnb. She's a performer. She's gonna use it to shoot. Even if she were to just use it, right. Just to stay in there, they yeah. Yeah. It's legal discrimination, is what it is. You're discriminating based on what someone does. Yeah. Well. Yeah. It's it's uh, yeah. It's like taking it's taking a small piece of information and then running in the opposite direction. But I mean, it. I've had more chargebacks in my like mainstream stuff. I do a lot of promotion, like yeah. on my social media, and I've had like three or four chargebacks this year on that. What's the chargeback? Like when they dif- uh, like um dispute the charge, they pay oh. you, and then they say no. I never oh yeah. Them. People try to do this with comedy tickets all the time lately. Uh, and then if you don't get on it, if you don't get on it fast enough, then uh, so then, then you lose it. Yeah, the worst one was um, uh, a a performer's mom came to the show, had a good time, and then uh, and she didn't recognize the name of the company afterwards, like months later, and she, she disputed the charges. So she got the money back, and then um, and then I was like, I don't know what to do here. I was like, do do I call the performer? Do I call them? Do I, I was like, I'm like, I'm just gonna leave it. It's whatever. Um, and then like. Months later, she like got the refund and and uh, and she was like, "Hey, what happened?" And it's like, "Oh, I don't know. You you disputed the charge." Like, this yeah, is it's but it's like, yeah, they can they can get the the service and then. So you you you've lost those disputes, or do you end up winning them? Mm, at the end? No, I've lost most of them. Yeah, because they'll just dispute it. Say, "Oh, s- my kid went in it, maybe, and sent them." Yeah, they actually, that was one of the first things I ever saw somebody do. This kid. uh this kid in college, he had his he had a credit card that his parents gave him, and so he went uh, he like went and signed up for one of the sites because he needed to get his nut and uh, and and he signed up for like the free trial and they put he, oh, he like did the whole thing put the credit card information in and then and then jerked off and then panicked and then said he's just gonna he's gonna he's gonna call the credit card company and say that that is that he has identity stolen. I guess the classic, <laughs> that's the classic one. Yeah, so I guess that's so. Yeah, that's that's a very commonplace one for sure. Yeah, the kids. <laughs> I guess that's the easiest one to use. You'd be like, I would never, I would never buy porn. Of course. I mean, the, I would be more proud of my kid for buying porn than like stealing it. Sure, I know, I know you. Would. It's a good, it's a good transition point to say, pay for your porn. Right. <laughs> uh, if you it. didn't, if you if you're watching some content and you didn't, and there was no money involved, then 
chances are the performer's not getting paid. Now, not chances are. 100% the performer's not getting well, paid Well, unless you're like on, like, these tube sites now, if you're seeing it, a lot of us will up to, uh, upload free porn, yeah. like, trailers and yeah. stuff. Not full-length scenes, but, like, trailer scenes, you know? But if it's not on the performer's verified account, yeah. if it's just some random account, then, yeah, probably. Well, if you're, so. yeah, if you're not if you're not giving money into it, then just, if, if you like a performer, you want to stay in the business, pay, yeah, pay your pay, um, pay your pay I know your a porn. lot of people say, oh, who pays for porn? Really, you need to shut up and thank the people who pay for yeah. porn, because that's the only reason we still have money to make porn. Right. Well, yeah, people this, don't realize get, it get requires out of the business. money, yeah. like locations, camera, lights, testing, traveling, outfits, um, people's fees, hosting the content. Like, yeah. It costs a lot of money Yeah. to make one scene. Pay for your porn. Pay so. for your comedy. Please, please pay for your comedy. <laughs> Uh, how do they follow you on the internet? How do they? How do you want them to access um, so you? So super cool. I got a site recently, a Kay. splash page that has everything on it. Cool. So it's ninaklive.com. Great. You have all my Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. K-A-Y. K-A-Y-Y. K-2-2-Y. Yeah. K-A-Y-Y. Ninaklive.com. And you can see everything. Cool. Awesome. Uh, thank you for doing this podcast. Totally I appreciate so your awesome. time. <laughs> I'm glad we got to do it. Um, this is the Porn Stars People Podcast. We're on iTunes, Google Play, uh, whatever platform you're on. We're on the other thing if you should have to switch. Uh, we're on Stitcher app. We're on. Uh, we got some stuff today from YouTube. It's not. It's not terribly exciting, but it's another way to to, to get involved. So thank you guys I for get listening. More into that YouTube stuff. Yeah. Cool. Uh, thank you to my guest one more time, Nina K. Bye guys.